Our strategic petroleum reserve is the largest in the world. It still is the largest in the world, and we do have a plan. We will be buying more when we feel like it is best advantageous for the taxpayers. I'm not worried about the reserve levels at all. That's right. Nothing to see here, folks. We're just at a 17-day supply in our reserves. That's the lowest level in 40 years. So what the heck is going on here? Have we just given up on refilling it after Biden used it? to try to uh, stem the losses in the last midterms. Joining me now is David Bonson, chief investment officer of the Bonson Group. David, so Biden drained the SPR purely for political reasons. There was not an emergency, um, but he said it was to curb gas prices when the Ukraine war broke out. But with this emergency that we're seeing now in the Middle East, what danger, what are the people's danger um, because of the earlier draining of this? Well, I think that now, if you have a real emergency, you don't have the reserves that the uh, entire purpose of them is for. They're going to be gone. Uh, we had 650 million barrels, Laura. Uh, they took 300 million barrels, so basically about half, and they did it when there was no real emergency involving us, and it was a price shock, as you said, in a midterm election. That's the whole reason they did it. The problem now is that if this Middle Eastern escalation goes on for a long period of time, those prices will go over $100 a barrel. That will create a recession, and they won't have the reserves to fall back on. You had the whole world shut down with COVID in 2020, and we still viewed the SPR as something that was really there for an extreme-type emergency. Now you have the Biden administration that's treated it like a piggy bank to try to manipulate gas prices, and I think the chickens are coming home to roost. So let's say that they just let this go on for a while without refilling the reserves. Then the price of gas goes up, goes higher. So the cost becomes uh, exponentially worse for the American taxpayers. Yeah, the, and we're still is... watching these protests on the street of New York City, by the way, David, that are uh, going on now just while we're doing this um, interview about the price of oil because of this uh, brewing problem in the Middle East and the SPR draining some um, pretty boisterous protesters out there in Chicago and New York tonight. David, um, yeah, so this is now at a point where this is going to really cost us, but are they even going to bother trying to refill it? Well, that's the point I want to make is what you suggest is not merely hypothetical. Oil prices are 90 now, Laura. They were about $70 for most of this year. They were between 68 and 72. You know how many barrels they bought in eight months? Three million barrels out of 300 million. So they sold 300 million last year and they had oil prices down $25 a barrel and they bought 1% of them back. Now oil prices have come back to 90 and could very well be back at 100. So I do not believe the administration has any intent to refill them because inevitably if they do that, it puts pricing pressure the other way. They've given full control to OPEC+. Plus. Well, so we lose our energy independence because of the attacks on the oil and gas industry. And now this. So no energy independence and no real desire to refill those reserves. David, thank you. Thanks, Laura.